I use Adobe Draw and I love using layers and opacity. I'm going to show you how easy it is to build opaque layers of colour with these simple features for a realistic drawing. Once in the app, open a new image layer and load up your photo that you want to draw, resizing and rotating as necessary. You can use the eyedropper by long holding the colour tool to match the colour on the image. Change the opacity on the layer so that you can trace over it and adjust the brush size. I'm using an opaque brush as an initial sketch. As you can see it's pretty quick to complete this. Move the photo layer using transform so that you can see it. I had to reorder my layers so the image didn't block my drawing. Now for the fun bit. Zoom in, you'll notice I do that a lot, and change the brush's opacity to add layer over layer to build up the tones. I'm a bit fussy about the strokes as you can tell. I keep going back and redoing them and overlaying more. I frequently change the opacity to soften the layers or I change the colour to build it up but it's always opaque so that they blend better. It's so easy to darken or lighten and even brighten up your drawing. And don't forget to clean up with an eraser any bits that have gone outside of your design. I'll go ahead and speed up the rest of the drawing so that you can see how it comes together. You might notice I have several layers to keep elements separate. This is in case I mess up or just want to go and change the order. I replace the image below my drawing and drop the opacity of my work so that I can see the logo. Using the layers to trace over makes it so easy to draw more accurately. You might notice in this section that I really should have erased the original pink sketch as it's showing below the grey of the drawing. found that helpful and we'll have a go with layers and opacity on Adobe Draw. Happy sketching!